This is my second Zoltan fortune teller. I have it here with me at college. I'm actually going home tomorrow and I'm debating on bringing him with me. Um, I don't have the top on because in order to put on the top you have to put take out all of the pegs or long screws and you have to do it all at once which is really hard so I just have that there for now. I've got the curtains fixed, I have the mouth movement fixed, I have the eye mechanism fixed and the, the floating in the skull's mouth were never broken. However, the knob was broken in three pieces for the eye mech, so I'm getting that remade. And there's a, now there's a ticking sound coming from the floating, but aside from that, it fully works. So I'll just give you a little demo of where we're at so far, and the volume's turned down a little bit because I'm in the dorm, but yeah, so aside from the little ticking and the knob for the eye movement, it's pretty much fully working at this point, which is impressive. Here we go. You can hear that little tick going on. I don't know what that is. So yeah, I don't really know what's going on with that ticking. That's my main concern. But um, yeah, so once I get that knob remade for the eye movement, then the eyes will move. The mouth movement, you know, like I said, just kind of kind of sucks. Not too noticeable. And that was very hard to repair. I think that was arguably harder than than some of this other stuff. Like this took longer, but that was. A, a little harder because I couldn't get off the mouthpiece so I had to literally pry open the gearbox with a little drill bit and then kind of slide the the nine tooth or ten tooth whatever it was in there and it's also not adhered to like the mouthpiece is not glued to the mask or anything so that may also explain it but it may just be that this is the second gen and that side of movement isn't as noticeable but yeah this when I got only the full